In this video, I want to showcase this brilliant Tribute Edition remake of the Vintage Technic LEGO 854 Go-Kart and talk about how I remade the original vintage model that you're looking at now using fresh parts source from Bricklink versus buying the retired original LEGO set. This model was released in 1978, has 212 parts and has a working piston for the engine at the rear and its front wheel steering. And although you may be looking at this thinking this is a very basic looking model, it is the success of these ancestor type Technic models that established Technic as a dedicated Lego theme. And with over 40 years of Technic being a much loved Lego product line and the Lego group putting a lot of effort into evolving the parts, complexity and design of Technic Lego, we now get to build and enjoy modern complex and amazing Technic Lego sets, thanks in parts to sets like this go-kart. This Lego set has some nostalgic value for me as it's one of the first Technic Lego sets that I ever built, and I recall my parents buying me this set secondhand as a small child in the 80s. I still have my original box and I've scrabbled through my old Lego to find the required parts, but the parts are beaten up, discolored, and I'm missing some. So I've exported the inventory for this set from Rebrickable to a wanted list in Bricklink, and where possible, replaced the old light gray colored parts with medium stone gray colored parts, and replaced some parts with their modern equivalent Technic Lego parts where needed. I've also updated the part types for some of the system type parts used in this set to the most recent mold type, like for these two by one slope bricks. There are of course several parts where I've needed to stick to the original old school parts, like for the piston for the engine and of course the wheel hubs and tires. But after buying the new condition parts from this wanted list on Bricklink, the result is a fresh and clean looking model for display. And you can use this process of uploading the set inventory from Rebrickable to Bricklink and then tuning it, as I've shown earlier, to build some of these early era Technic sets if you want to. I use this same process for doing a rebuild of this 8860 car chassis, which is one of my favorite vintage era Lego Technic sets. As for the sticker for the front plate, I sourced that from the Brick Sticker Shop. They have a good range of replacement stickers for vintage sets, and I'll put a link to their web shop in the description of the video. Let's take a look at the tribute edition of the 854 LEGO Technic Go-Kart. The design for this comes from Berthill, and you can download the instructions for this build for free from this page on Rubricable. And by the way, while you're at it, I highly recommend you take a look at some of Berthill's other designs and work. He's clearly a very talented and industrious custom LEGO model designer, and you never know, you may find a new build project amongst his work to take on for yourself. For this tribute edition of the 854 Go-Kart, it has the same key features as the original, being a working rear single piston engine and front wheel steering, but has been recrafted to use modern technique and system parts to have a fresh look. The build uses 444 parts and is an enjoyable build, resulting in what I think is an incredibly stylish looking model. I particularly like the use of curved slope and arch elements to give the model clean and smooth lines. And looking at both models side by side, you can see that Berthel has done a fantastic job of both honoring the original 854 go-kart, but also giving us a modern and fresh looking model. If you would like to build this too, then please check the description of the video to find the link to the rubricable page where you'll find building instructions and a list of parts required. And again, the sticker for the front plate of the updated model can be sourced from the brick sticker shop. As usual, if you have any questions about this build, please leave a comment on the video and I'll endeavor to get back to you and to help you out. That's all for this one. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.